I'm going to show you how you can automatically export CSVs for your table views. I'll be using this tool, ViminiExtensions.com, and I will add a URL to this in the description. So within your tables UI, you can choose to select a view and then click here and click download CSV. Now that's useful, but it becomes cumbersome if you have to do it, let's say once a week for a client and you know, you have to do these regularly for a bunch of views. So our tool fixes exactly that issue. Um, so when you buy the tool, this is what you would, uh, what you would see. You would start by filling up the API key and then the base ID and the table ID. Follow the blue URLs to know how to find those. Next, we write the IDs of the views that we want to export CSVs for. And these can be as many as we'd like. So in this case, I'm exporting for this one. So you can find the view ID here. It starts with VIW. So I'm doing this one and this one. I'm doing a couple, three. The next, you have to um, define exactly which fields you'd like to hide. So unfortunately, this uh, when you hide Airtable fields from this UI here, Airtable doesn't let us know which fields are hidden. So unfortunately, you have to redefine those fields here. So whatever ones you don't want to show up in the CSV, just type their names here, make sure they're case sensitive, etc. Um, and one last thing is if you have a linked record, so let's say we have vendor here, if we export the CSV, we will see the uh, ID of the vendor, the record ID, not the name. A way to get around that is to create a new field. So let's go ahead and do that. So a new field, let's do vendor name, um, vendor name, and then make it be a lookup field. And then what we do is we look up the vendor and then look up the name of the vendor. And when we do this, then we can grab the names immediately. And then what we would want to do is um, hide the vendor from the exported CSV. So we hide the vendor, but we add the name as a new record so that we don't see the ID, but we see the actual vendor. So let's go ahead and run this. You can also schedule this to run regularly, or you can also use web hooks. So here are the URLs. So each of these URLs will link to the CSV. If we open it, we just see the content of the CSV. If we right click on one of them and download linked file, we will get the CSV that we downloaded. So if we grab this, throw it in an X, uh, in a CSV viewer. So here we go. So this is what we had on the table. Um, just go ahead and check out that vendor field. Where is it? Um, vendor name. There you go. So yeah, so that's the way to fix up uh, the uh, record looked record IDs issue. Last thing is you can schedule this to run regularly. So you can schedule it to run every hour, and etc. And you can generate a webhook so that when the webhook is opened, it regenerates these CSVs. And one last nice part about this is that the CSV URLs will remain static. So every time you rerun this, the URLs will be the same, but every time you rerun it, we will update the contents of that URL.